Hi, welcome to you. Hearty welcome to you. In this session, we'll go through some examples of mathematical induction and how to prove by mathematical induction that the statements given are true. So let's start with this example. We have to prove one cube plus two cube plus three cube, which is up to n cube is equal to n square into n plus one whole square by four. Before proceeding, in any mathematical induction, we have three steps. The first step is called as induction basis. Nothing but proving that the statement is true for a particular value that can be 1 or it can be 2 or it can be any value for one particular value. Generally, we take 1. Then after that, we assume that the given statement is true for n equal to k which is nothing but called as inductive hypothesis then at the end if we assume it that it's a true for n equal to k we have to prove that it's a true for n equal to k plus 1 that's nothing but the induction step so these are the three steps what we have whenever we want to prove by mathematical induction so let's go ahead with the step 1 the step 1 to prove that it's true for n equal to 1. So let's take on the LHS side. On the LHS, I have first term, n equal to 1 is first term. So I have 1 cube that's, that's equal to 1. On the RHS, I have n square into n plus 1 whole square by 4. If I substitute n equal to 1, this is 1 into 2 square, that's 4 by 4. You can see it's LHS equal to RHS for n equal to 1. We just stop at 1, but let's just take one more and see. If it is n equal to 2 on the LHS, I have 1 cube plus 2 cube because now we are talking about two terms. That's nothing but 1 plus 8 equal to 9. On the RHS, I have n square into n plus 1 whole square by 4 my n equal to 2 this is nothing but 2 square plus 2 plus 1 whole square by 4 which is nothing but 4 into 9 by 4 that's nothing but equal to 9 so we have proven that induction basis is perfectly fine it's working for n equal to 1 now let us assume let us assume second step we will assume assuming that true for n equal to k so how my left hand side and our right hand side will look like i am going for 1 cube plus 2 cube plus 3 cube we are talking about k terms so it will have k cube that's nothing but equal to we are assuming that it's equal to k square into k plus 1 whole square by 4 this is the second step now first step we have proven that it's true for one particular specific value that's either n equal to 1 or 2 or can be any value we generally take 1 now the second step is the hypothesis what we are saying is since we have proven that it's equal to it's true for n equal to 1 now we are assuming that it's true for n equal to k now what i have to prove the third step i have to prove third step i have to prove to prove true for n equal to k plus 1 so what i have to do to prove for n equal to k plus 1 if my left hand side and my right hand side should be equal for n equal to k plus 1 how it should look like it should look like one cube plus two cube plus three cube we did already k cube the next term is we are taking the next term immediate term so k plus 1 whole cube should be equal to k plus 1 whole square into 
k plus 2 whole square by 4. What I have done is very simple. When we have assumed I have substituted n equal to k in whatever the equation I have. So that is what I have assumed. What I have to prove is I have to prove for n equal to k plus 1. So I have to prove that LHS is equal to RHS for n equal to k plus 1. So let us go ahead and try to do that. Okay. If you observe, if you observe k and k plus 1 are next terms, right? The whole idea of induction is that if you take any one in between and if you see it's following, the next one also should follow. That's that that's a concept behind it. Okay. Now you can see that this 1 cube plus 2 cube plus 3 cube up to this particular point is nothing but equal to k square into k plus 1 whole square by 4. So, so can I say this is nothing but equal to k square into k plus 1 whole square by 4 and to that sum I am adding k plus 1 whole cube and I should get RHS. If I, I am able to prove that LHS equal to RHS then I have proven that this will be true for any value of n 1 cube plus 2 cube plus 3 cube up to n cube will be equal to n square into n plus 1 whole square by 4. Okay. Now we know that we have assumed that it is true for n equal to k that means up to k terms it will be nothing but equal to the RHS whatever I have k square into k plus 1 whole square by 4. Now I have to add the k plus 1th term. k plus 1th term is nothing but equal to k plus 1 whole cube. Now let us try to simplify this and see whether this will be equal to the RHS or not. Okay. Now if I simplify this I will have LCM 4. So I will have k square into k plus 1 whole square plus k plus 1 whole cube into 4. So, it will be nothing but equal to, I can take k plus 1 whole square common, it becomes k plus 1 whole square into, I have k square here. If I take k plus 1 whole square, I have k plus 1 and 4 left out. So, it will be 4 into k plus 1 that is nothing but equal to k plus 1 whole square into k square plus 4 into k is 4k plus 4 into 1 is 4 divided by 4. Now you can see k square plus 4k plus 4 is nothing but in the form of a square plus 2ab plus b square. You can see that where a equal to k and b equal to t 2. So you can see that 2ab equal to 2 into 2 into k that is nothing but equal to 4k. So this is nothing but you can write it as k plus 1 whole square into k plus 2 whole square by 4. That is what we have to prove. So we have proven that LHS is equal to RHS for n equal to k plus 1. Since we have proven it is true for n equal to k plus 1 we have proven that this particular statement is true for any value of n. Let us summarize this. We have to prove 1 cube plus 2 cube plus 3 cube up to n cube equal to n square into n plus 1 whole square by 4. So, 3 steps. First step we have to prove that it is true for n equal to 1 LHS equal to RHS left hand side equal to right hand side. Then we have to prove we have to assume that it is true for n equal to k that is a hypothesis. If we assume then we have to prove that it is true for the next term that is nothing but n equal to k plus 1. So, we have assumed that it is true for n equal to k where I will have 1 cube plus 2 cube plus 3 cube up to k terms equal to k square into k plus 1 whole square by 4. Now, I have to prove it is true for n equal to k plus 1. If I write on the left hand side I see that after k we will have k plus 1. So, whatever you have terms till k you can substitute them with the right hand side value whatever you have assumed earlier. So, after that if you do the simplification you will see that this is nothing but equal to n square into n plus 1 whole square by 4 at n equal to 
k plus 1. So, we have proven that it is true for any value of n. So, in the next video, we will do some more interesting examples on mathematical induction. Thanks for visiting. Bye for now. See you in the next video.